still reeling from the incredibly painful situation in Israel, the news, the pain, the suffering. One of the things that I think I'm most um, distressed by, if I'm being very honest, uh, though not surprised, is the issue of um, proportionality. The idea that somehow there are two right sides or correct sides in this conflict and that one of them, um, they just have different vantage points and when one, when one instigates, the other one has to respond in kind but not beyond and not be too strong and not be too harsh because you're stronger and you've got better weapons and all this stuff. There is no place for proportionality. You know, this week's Parsha, the Torah begins, is voracious. So we read about creation, and oftentimes we forget that the end of the Parsha talks about not creation, but destruction. God was, um, he regretted mankind, the way that man was, was behaving. He said that they were rock, rock, kol hayom, their behavior was just evil all day. I can't think of a people that deserve the title of evil all day more than Hamas, more than the people of Gaza who perpetuated this hideous and heinous crime. The, the, the suffering is, is immense and the glee, the joy that they are um, demonstrating from what they did is beyond disgusting. Any human being, Jewish or not, can see that. And the fact that we are somehow calling for proportionality here is insane. What did God do when people were rock, rock, kol hayom? He regretted having created them, and he wiped them out. And that's exactly what Israel needs to do right now. We weren't able to do it in the past. With the Holocaust, the Crusades before that, and many times in our history, when we have suffered in the hands of others, we haven't been able to respond. We've just had to suffer. And of course, it's all in God's hands, but we have the capacity now to retaliate. We have the capacity now to annihilate. We have the capacity now to really put an end to these monsters. And now is the time to do it. And if God can do it, it's morally just. It's the right thing to do. I'm not necessarily saying all the specifics, but as a general rule, this is what the people of Israel need. We cannot have neighbors who are this committed to the destruction and complete annihilation of Jews, Judaism, Israel, and everything that it stands for. And it's time that everybody wakes up, understands that this is ultimately what needs to happen. And I couldn't think of a better um, example from this week's parsha, from this week's message than that. And that's what needs to be done. Sad to say, but that's the truth.